Hello and welcome to the first race review of 2017. It's the first round of the Wednesday Championship and I'd just like to start out by saying thank you very much for supporting these videos. Uh, they take me a lot of time to make and so I really appreciate you watching them. And uh, yeah, sit back and enjoy the next 10 minutes of racing action. So we've got Callum Jones in the bottom left of your screen and myself in the bottom right. We're on board with Todd White here in the centre camera and as we approach the hairpin on the opening lap it can sometimes get a bit chaotic through there but everyone's through nice and neatly. Todd just having to leave space for Lawrence on the exit. We switch on board now with Jamie who qualified in fourth place behind what was an absolutely stunning performance from this man, John Magna. He qualified in third behind the leaders you can see racing it out in front, that's Callum who got pole position and Tom just putting out to the left there down into turn one. So John's performance was no doubt the biggest surprise of qualifying. The question was could he hold it when he was showing real pace in the opening laps and he was actually catching these two that were battling out in front. However, a little optimistic maybe into the hairpin, sticks his nose up the inside of Tom Kitchener, bit of contact made, and unfortunately for him, it left him on the outside, which created a gap, which Jamie was more than happy to exploit. Back on board with Todd White in the midfield then, and Alex Harding and Lawrence Remington were having a feisty little fight. As you can see there, Lawrence actually moving himself ahead. I'm not actually sure whether that was full position or it was Lawrence defending from Alex, but a bit of contact just after the corner, fair play. And uh, this is back toward the front, Jamie just going into the hairpin and he's starting to catch these two that are battling it out at the front. And I was watching this battle with interest, hoping that they would trip themselves up and allow me an opportunity to reel them both back in and, and join in the fun. Unfortunately for me though, it looked like a matter of time for Callum. And we can actually see the move for the lead start to develop here. Tom pulls out to the right and with Callum leaving a gap, Tom slides through into the lead. The first win of the season is always going to be worn like a badge of honour and Callum wasn't about to give up his lead easily. Immediately he's looking to fight back as Tom looks over his shoulder and has to make a defensive move into the hairpin but it seems Callum would not let this battle for the lead go. He got right back onto the tail of Tom and forcing the leader to defend down the grass line into turn one and remarkably he still gets a fantastic run through turn one and great exit speed there from the leader. Out of the shadows comes Alex Harding on Todd White through the final corner and that was a move for some place in the midfield, I've completely lost count, but it was a great pass through the final corner. Back at the sharp end then, and Jamie had indeed caught up with the leading duo, but a bit of a stalemate began to emerge as the three of them started lapping almost absolutely identically. Jamie just managed to nick the fastest lap by a few hundredths, and the battle between Lawrence and Alex was reaching its climax as Alex finally moves himself ahead of his rival into the first corner after having caught back up when he lost out to Todd earlier on. So the flag fell for the first race on Tom Kitchener, not literally of course, but uh, he took the win from Callum and Jamie in third. John Magna meanwhile had a nightmare race, I think he got a drive through, which as you can see there on camera he's starting right near the front for this reverse grid race. And away they go as the sirens in the background blare away. We might need them to attend Sutton Circuit after this opening lap because it can get pretty rough into the first few corners. But the no overtaking rule keeps everyone in line through the first turn at least. And now the race is open to do as you please. So we're on board the main camera with Jamie. Callum is on your bottom left. He's dropped back a little bit from the pack. But Todd in the top right goes a bit deep into the hairpin. It allows Lawrence to slip up the inside. Alex tries to take advantage as well. Leaves a gap which then Jamie happily slips into. One place made up for him on his charge toward the front. It's not all so smooth though as they all go through the last corner. A couple of people trying to go wheel to wheel. And on the bottom left of your screen Callum now has caught it with Alex who seems to be struggling in these opening stages. Strangely there's no casualties through turn one but the intensity of this race is about to go sky high and it's all going to start right about here as they all condense on the exit of the light bulb Lawrence brilliantly goes around the outside of Andy Hodson causing a three way into the hairpin there's carts absolutely everywhere three each side Tom tries to take advantage Callum's tucked in behind Andy Hodson gets pushed completely broadside by Jamie and as we dart up the back street, Callum, who had a brilliant run through the loop, nice and smooth, gets up the inside, tucks himself nicely into the final corner and moves himself ahead of about four carts. 
in what was no doubt one of the best openings to a race he's had in a while. As Jamie moves to the left, Tom decides to try and slide himself into the action as well. Little bit of bumping mid-corner, but he's through. And as the Jamie and Tom wrestle through the light bulb, Jamie tucks in nice and tightly going through the switch. And as they approach the hairpin, slides back up the inside and a battle that could have raged on for the majority of this race but Jamie begins to pull away at this point and now as we skip a little further on in the race here we can see Callum behind Todd White and going through the light bulb corner making sure not to hit those cones those cones can seem so tight and so close to you as you go through there but you've got to try and get as close to them as possible and in a very similar move to the one that we've seen Jamie put on Tom Callum slides up the inside and I think Jamie was wishing that he was a little bit closer he might have been able to take advantage going through the loop however he soon got his shot at Todd and once again into the hairpin making the back end go slidey slidey as he slots himself in front of his T175 teammate back on board with Callum Jones then and any charge towards the front is always going to meet an obstacle when you're behind Lawrence Remington one of the hardest people to pass on the track but a small incident there is Connor takes out John Magna and Callum the lucky sod manages to slip up the inside Jamie was right behind this incident as well he was just too far back though to try and sneak his nose up the inside of John into the light bulb the threat of Callum now pulling away and moving ahead of his two championship rivals was looking all too apparent and with John and Lawrence out of the way all he needed to do now was move himself ahead of Connor and he would be in a podium position and he does that down into turn one nice standard move and as we go back on board with Jamie he nicely slides himself alongside John on the exit of the final corner a little bit of barging through the little king onto the main straight he had good straight line speed trying to defend but Jamie stuck to his guns and with a leg breaking move into turn one gets the move done and moves himself ahead of John Magna it was now a case of trying to catch the two young guns in front of him who were having their own battle. Connor pulling out to the right, just sticking his nose down the inside but backs out of it in the end. Uh, he was giving it a good go and while they were fighting Jamie was able to catch them through the corners but on the straights, vroom, they're gone. They just seem to pull away and disappear as they head down into turn one and all of the opportunities for Jamie to try and make a pass stick were fast disappearing in front of his eyes. Connor's best opportunity to move himself ahead of Lawrence came through the final corner. He got a nice tight run and got himself on the right hand side of his rival through the exit. Down the main straight then he's just managing to keep his nose up the inside and this should have been a move that stuck. If he was a bit more assertive and a bit more aggressive on the brakes then there might have been a possibility that he could have slotted himself ahead of Lawrence coming out of turn one. But as it was, Lawrence got a good slingshot off the exit and managed to move himself back ahead. We're just in a little moment there of Todd once again battling in the midfield and getting nice and close to his rivals. Now this was the battle for the lead between Jack and Callum. And while that run down into turn one didn't come off, this one did as Jack leaves the door wide open into the hairpin. And Callum slots himself into the lead of the race from starting last but one on the grid. And with Jamie struggling to catch these two into the normal braking zones, he decides to make an opportunity for himself, sliding up the inside of Connor through the final corner where a small gap had emerged. And this was the aftermath of that pass on board with Todd White. Connor then had to go defensive on John Magna to save himself from losing another position. A couple of laps later then and Connor does lose that position as he slides out wide for some reason through the light bulb corner and allows John Magna to get cleanly up the inside of him on the run through. And as we go back on board with our race leader he celebrates jubilantly as he takes the chequered flag while Jamie couldn't get past the roadblock that is Lawrence Remington. And that's a wrap on the first round of the Wednesday series. Thank you very much for watching.